Oh, hi. Sorry, I was just having my daily uh, staring into thin air moment. I do that a couple of times a day just to, you know, keep myself busy. But I wanted to give you some of my top tips for staying at home now that we all unfortunately cannot do shows in Brighton or go and watch shows in Brighton. This is the worst timing ever. But you're all staying inside and I appreciate it so much. So here are some um, top tips. Uh, don't shower. It doesn't matter anymore because no one's going to see you apart from the people you live with and they're stuck with you. So what are they going to do? Leave? <laughs> they can't. Legally leave. Uh, top tip number two. Um, you can use many, many objects in your house as uh, play pretend microphones if you're a comedian and you miss performing. You can just be like, hi. Yeah. Ah, hmm. If you get a new dishwashing brush. Uh, also, just wear pajamas, wear comfortable clothing. Why not? And um, just don't go outside. I think we, we know that one. Uh, and then there's a lot of people who are like, you know, you should take up a new hobby or you should paint your entire house or learn a new language. And um, I here's, this is an actual piece of advice. I think a lot of people do these to-do lists, right? Like, oh, I, sh I should be painting my house. I should be learning Spanish and da, da, da. But I think you should make could-do lists. If I wanted to, I could learn Spanish easily. Less easily, exactly, right? Or I could learn an instrument very quickly. Drums, exactly. But it's about could and not should, because should um, makes us very stressed out and makes us feel like failures if we don't. Whereas coulds are just fun opportunities. <sighs> also, stop wearing makeup. Stop shaving your legs. Start living, you know, like just start living, start. Um, start filling your days with more meaningful things than you know friends and family and the outside and um entertainment and stuff and instead fill your days with um just long periods of staring into your wall or you know contemplating your own mortality Maybe just go over all the things you've done in your life that you regret. <laughs> you know, just really think you through. Ah, you know, why did they stop talking to me? You know, stuff like that. Text your ex. Oh my God, text all of your exes. Also, if it was just that one guy uh, you met when you were 14 and you technically dated for six days, but you never kissed, like, find him on Facebook, right? Be like, hey, Magnus, what's up? What's what's new, you know? I, I saw you've been on holiday last year. Whoa, what's up with that? Who's that girl in all of your photos? I deserve to know. Our hands brushed against each other as we as we didn't kiss. A long time ago, back when we could still go outside. Anyways, I'm busy. I have lots to do. I have to look that way and that way, and it's gonna take up my entire day. But um, one day, one day, we'll be allowed to go outside, and I'll come to Brighton, and I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm very excited. It's one of the things I think about when I look into nothing. Nothingness. Stay inside. Stay safe. See you when the world has stopped ending. Mm -hmm.